Welcome back to another AQ World video. In this one, I'm going to be asking the question, what is AQ World Infinity's housing system going to be like? If you guys enjoy this one, do me a favor and tap that like button, smash the subscribe and hit the notification if you want to stay up to date with all of my content. A lot of my viewers are not subscribers, so I'd really appreciate it if you do tap that subscribe button. Big thanks to all my YouTube members for all the support you guys give me. If you're interested in joining my YouTube membership, tap that join button down below. Housing is not a new concept for AE. They do housing in a lot of their games. Going right back to their original game, Adventure Quest. Now, to obtain a house in Adventure Quest, you need to take out all of the trees to make room for your house, and then you can build your house once you've purchased one. You can have house guards guarding your house, and your house can have multiple rooms, but there's really not much to do. Now, you can have an estate where you can then place your things around, and these estate stuff, I mean, there's a lot that comes with it, but it's advanced, and it's not super fun. I never really enjoyed the housing in AQ. If you've played Dragon Fable, then you're aware of the housing system in there as well. Now, it is very bare-boned. You can still place items in your house and whatnot, but the interactions outside of that's rather limited. Even Epic Duel has a housing system, even though it is also in itself extremely limited. Now, the game that really nailed housing, it made it almost too advanced, is AQ3D. The AQ3D housing system is way beyond what I would have ever expected AE to do with the housing. Broom Tool really did an amazing job with the AQ3D housing system. Now clearly this is because it is a 3D game so it's taking full advantage of that, but you can scale the size of the items, position it wherever you want, place items on top of other items, there is nothing that can hold you back except for the lag, your imagination, and the resources. Because in the AQ3D housing, you can build pretty much anything you want. Now, the same cannot be said for the AQ World housing, but of course, the AQ World housing came out years before AQ3D's housing, and of course, it's not 3D, so there's already going to be some dimensional issues. I like the AQ World housing system. For me, it does what it needs to do, so I don't have a problem with it, but I do have problems with some of the stuff in it. Like, when you're trying to position things, you can't put it literally anywhere you want. Physics takes a place, so if you're trying to put something up here, for instance, it is going to go where it feels like going until it's basically hit the bottom. So, I mean, there are, but it's obviously, it makes sense because when you have an item like this, this is not a wall item it is a floor item so placing it on the floor will have less complications than you will but i have found placements to be a little bit off in some situations obviously things like that could be fine-tuned but there are other options with the housing system that they could do Something I would like to see in the AQ World Infinity housing is layers. Now, what I mean by layers is I mean a foreground and a background, having three different layers. So let's say, for instance, these things here were in the background. No matter what I do, my character would not be able to go beyond them. So they would constantly be in the background. Now, the way that it works in AQ World is depending on where you position certain things, you can have them in the background, similar to wall stuff and whatnot. But if you position them wrong, you can then get behind them. Now, I did the same thing with these NPCs where I put them in the foreground, but there is not a layering option. This is just because I literally put them as far down as I could so that my character could not come in front. Now, unfortunately, it didn't work because I just literally did come right in front of it, but... I don't want to have it any lower. I guess I'll have to put it down lower, dang it. Like, imagine if I had this Immortal Joe plushie, but then you have other options upon just placing him here like this, there would be a little option popping up above that would allow me to position it into the foreground, the background, or the current layer I'm in, which would be the default layer. Now, what this could mean is if this was in the foreground, I could place it right in the middle of my map and my character, no matter what I did, would not be able to go in front of it. 
because it's in the foreground. Now, as I said, depending on placement, you are able to have things in the background and you are able to have it in such a way that you cannot get in behind it. But I would also love it if there was a way to really have these things in the foreground. I did my the best I can, but there still are ways to be able to get in front of them, which is something I would like to see not happen in AQ World Infinity. Another thing I would like to see with AQ World Infinity is scaling. And what I mean by scaling is having a scaled items. Like imagine this thing right here, this paladin, if I could have this any size I want. Now I do have a large version of that said paladin, but what if I only had this one size and I could change it to any size I want from really small to really big? Having an option like this would be super, super handy. Now we really don't know what housing is going to be offering in AQ World Infinity, but we do know Arctic's stance on AQ World Infinity is to keep everything 80% the same with 20% improvement. One of the features they added in AQ World was having the house items being able to face left or right. And this was a huge feature for me. Quite often prior, you would have to farm the left hand version or the right hand version if you were wanting a specific side. You don't need to do that anymore. Now you can just have one and then just flip it any way you want, which I think is so handy. But having another option to be able to scale the size would also be a big win. What features would you like to see in the AQ World Infinity housing? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.